Well, that's less than ideal. We are going to get two new cows. This is going to bring the total number to 12, which is insane. And if you told me I was going to have 12 cows five years ago, I would literally never have believed you because I couldn't even imagine having one cow. I wanted goats. Goats are small. You can pick them up when they're hurt and they're sick and they're being jerks. Cows are a little more difficult to pick up and that's what this video is about. Well, we have to borrow our neighbor's truck and I'll just tell you right now, my entire life works because of a system of currying favors. Also, that's called community. I'll drive about a thousand feet to Zach's house, pick up the trailer. This land holds great beauty. I hate to jinx this, but loading up trailers is my specialty. Little known fact, I used to work on a fishing boat and it was my job to pull the truck back and load the boat. Let's see if I can do it in one shot. Boom! Ha 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 ha! Yes! All right, away we go. I'm so excited. This is gonna be great! There's two great things about this. First, after the whole BLV situation and having to cull all of our adult ladies that we already had in milk. This is going to give us an opportunity to get a cow that's back in milk faster because she's due in early February. Best donuts. You did it! The best cup of coffee! Congratulations. And this bull is going to solve all of our problems with the beef cows because I didn't have a way to get them bred because of all of the BLV stuff, we don't want to share bulls between our dairy cows and our beef herd anymore. After figuring out how to use my little lobster claw to do the most successful blood draws I've ever done on these two cows, we've got a fully clean bill of health. And I'm excited. Also, it's really fun because the guy who has raised both, both this bull and this heifer does things exactly the way we do. He does rotational grazing, he's working on remineralizing his pastures and planting the right seeds for his dairy mix and his cows are super healthy and it's all just been super wonderful and amazing and I couldn't have asked for a better situation. Because I'll be honest, we are very, very gun shy now when it comes to purchasing or bringing any new animals on or off our farm because boy, we got bit and we got bit hard. Driving on these little back roads with a borrowed truck and trailer is not my favorite. I mean, I have a lot of experience driving a trailer and I'm still unbelievably nervous every single time. All right, we're here. This is, hopefully this goes well now. Adam, do you see them? They're so cute. Look at them. I do what I want. We've got someone who wants to come with us. Like, I mean, I'd be fine with that girl. Let's do it. Adam, you want to get another goat? No, no, no. The load up is always the trickiest bit, but we got to get the bull in first because he's going to our house after we drop the heifer off at Tyler and Eric. So wish us luck. So these are our new buddies. This is a Scottish Highland belted Galloway. That little belt in the middle is the dead giveaway. And he's a friendly little boy. And then this is the new lady. And the thing we're most excited about with her, aside from how healthy she is, her temperament and everything else, is she's got a white belly, which means she's got some of that painted jersey genetics, which means she's gonna have some cute calves. You ready? Yep. Do you okay. want me to be yeah. in with them? Yeah, you go first. So. You can shut that gate to separate it. He's got it, he's got it. There you go, girl. You got it. Uh, there we go. All right, here goes the money. What a world. Technology is amazing. As excited as I am, it also is always like, I think about what, it, what it's like to say goodbye to animals that you spent this much time with and 
this is like not what he wanted. He's been working with this heifer. He raised her for the last two years. And that's the, that's the thing that I think a lot of people don't think about with their animals. Like by the time she gives birth, it's, you've got two years in an animal. Raising his heifer, getting her bred, like training her and all this stuff. And he's giving me an insanely good and well-trained animal, but that is also means that he doesn't get to do like, do the things that he spent two years trying to do with her and I mean it's it's because he's getting deployed and he's gonna be gone so like I'm so thankful for his service to our country but and like thankful that he's raised such amazingly healthy like well-behaved animals for us but it's also like like watching him say goodbye at the gate was also a little sad These two bovine additions are gonna be numbers 11 and 12 to our herd, which is kind of insane to think about, especially since the addition of the bull means that then in the spring we'll be expecting six more, bringing us to 18. We're always playing a real, real delicate balancing game between how much grass do we have available and how can we best steward our land without overdoing it. We do intensive rotational grazing. So getting more numbers as we go into the spring is always really helpful, but then we wanna make sure that we're planning our breeding schedules accordingly so that as we go into the fall and winter when we have less grass, we'll have less animals to eat it. Hey, uh, Cheddar, you'll never believe what I brought you. I brought you a friend, are you so excited? I am. I don't want them coming. I am excited. So it may have been a little over ambitious to have three heifers going into spring, but after everything that we've dealt with the last couple of years, we are hedging every bet because no animal is a guarantee. I would have loved to have had a mature milk calf cow this last year. I mean, the last time I had a cow that was in milk was February of last year. So we're coming upon almost a year with no milk. And for someone who owns 12 cows, that seems a little ridiculous. Also, I'm really proud of driving the trailer. We didn't fall off the road. Eric's truck worked really well. We have to come up with a better name for this guy. So maybe you guys can help us come up with a better name for him. Oreo is no offense to the one who named him, but Oreo is not a good name. We need something along the music theme, uh, and he has a very high-pitched moo, but like Michael Mouble, but Adam said no to that, so let us know in the comment section what you think his name should be. Oh, here she comes! Look at their touching, their kissing noses! Ooh. Well, this is just part of it. It's okay. They're gonna be fine. Come on, little man. You have so many new lady friends. You're gonna have so much fun here. Look at how fluffy. All right, everyone, remember, we're trying to come up with a perfect name for this little gentle floof. Music themed. Are we seeing this? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. According to my calculations, that's right, calculations. Maybe it's actually in heat right now, and so this is unbelievable. She's standing firm and everything. This is so great. Well, good. We at least know it works. Money well spent. I think a lot of people see where I am now and what we are doing now and assume that all of this is just financially an easy thing to do. But 10 years ago, when I started all of this, we were getting most of our food from the food bank, which is exactly why food security is so important to me. Even now, it's not like I've fully made it and I can just buy whatever or do whatever I want. It took a lot of wheeling and dealing to get these cows. In fact, I had them completely paid for from another aspect of my cow business before we even started shopping. It is so wild to me, the meandering path that has brought me from 10 years ago, planting my first seed and picking up my first tool, living in the middle of the city and knowing that that life was not for me, to here, 
and I've chronicled every step of that journey on my Squarespace website and of all trades. I am not a super tech savvy person. When I got all this started, I had no idea that you could build a business online or that that was even a thing. In fact, back then, maybe it wasn't. But Squarespace has made it so easy from the very beginning to easily drag and drop whatever I wanted to share with the world into a beautiful artist design template that then shared it with the world. Squarespace has allowed me to announce all of the classes that I'm teaching, the events that I'm speaking at. It allows me to have an online store where I've built so much of my online business, which allowed me to leave the tech industry, move into the middle of nowhere, and start hanging out with animals in my spare time. Though, I'll be honest, there's not a lot of that. A couple years ago, Squarespace contacted me and asked me if I could make a video talking about my experience building a website and then watching my entire life change as a result and they've been supporting my channel every month ever since. So if you've found value here, know that supporting Squarespace supports making the making of videos like this possible. And if you wanna start a website of your own, go to squarespace.com, build out your stuff, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Trades, and you'll get a 10% discount. While we wait for these babies to uh, matriculate or whatever, we have some very fresh goat babies in the barn. I just made a video about that whole situation. Check that out. I will see you there. Cheers.